Uh, can we hear me, please? Well, welcome back from our break. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm with you, sir. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Okay, so I uh, want to quickly look at uh, career and specializations in conflict management. In other words, beyond using... Uh, okay, let me say, how do I make a career out of conflict management? Instead of doing it by the side, even if I'm doing it not for profit, not for financial um, remuneration, how can I become a professional conflict manager? So this is what we want to address here. The this course we are going through, foundation course in conflict management, gives us the foundation, the basics, the basics. Uh, so the foundation of conflict manager or the foundation of career in conflict management is already being linked. Now, to be a career conflict manager, what else do I need to do? Which direction do I need to go? So this is what I want to look at here. I want to look at how you need to build your capacity in conflict management and some specialization courses in alternative dispute resolution because ultimately conflict management at this level, conflict management in this sense is talking about essentially alternative dispute resolution. So first, to build your capacity in conflict management, there are certain things you need to do. We recognize that all of us, one way or the other, we have been managing conflicts as leaders. There is no leader who has not at one time or the other or who does not regularly manage conflict among their members, their followers, between their followers and other people, and between their group and other groups. So what you want to take a step further from the level of laymen, from the level of uh, what is imposed on us, the first thing we need to do is to build our capacity. And by attending this course, we are already building that capacity. So the capacity building will start in foundation course on conflict management or an introductory course on conflict management. And in the course, we cover things like key concepts, uh, an understanding of conflict, a comprehensive understanding of conflict or a new orientation to conflict, uh, conflict management responses, that is, the different ways you can respond to conflict, and uh, conflict analysis skills, conflict analysis skills, uh, they're very important in such foundation course. And then a brief introduction to alternative dispute resolution. So this introductory course will lay the foundation for other courses, for other courses in alternative dispute resolution. Um, when we take courses in alternative dispute resolution, we, are, we become recognized as experts, um, experts in conflict management. All over Nigeria now, in most states of Nigeria, we now have what we call a uh, multi door court house, multi door court houses, almost in all the ministries of justice in the Federation. I know we have in Ibadan. It started in Lagos in 2002 with Lagos multi door court house. Every state has citizens mediation center. These are places where we can by our trade. These are places where we can hone our skills. These are places where we can present ourselves as people with skills and ready to be accepted in the committee of our alternative dispute resolution specialist. Specialist. Um, the course we are going through currently is a good start. But might not be good enough for them to admit us 
in such places. You also have uh, what we call um, private mediation centers. But before we can practice in most of these places, either voluntarily or paid, you need to take a step further by taking courses, at least taking one more course, that is negotiation and mediation. Negotiation and mediation. Once we take that course, we can present the certificate and present ourselves, uh, maybe first to offer pro bono service until we get, uh, we gather experience, until those places can give us reference, you see, and then we can open our own mediation or alternative dispute resolution center. Uh, law we recognize it, I mean, it will be legally recognized once we have these appropriate uh, certifications, specialization courses. So these are what I want to present now. Um, alternative disk resolution, some people call it appropriate disk resolution, uh, refers to a wide range of disk resolution processes and techniques that parties to a conflict can use to settle their dispute with the help of a neutral third party. So it refers to different ways that people can resolve their conflicts without without litigation. The word alternative there refers to alternative to litigation. Some people say, I can go to the You don't want to go to court, but you want to have justice. You still want to have justice. What we need is alternative dispute resolution uh, method of process. Some of the most common ones include mediation, negotiation, arbitration, ombudsman, neutral thoughts, I mean, neutral evaluation, expert determination, and so on and so forth. And mostly, they are generally confidential processes, not like court that anybody can come in and watch the proceeding here. They are confidential, so parties can talk about things. They are formal and they are less stressful than traditional court proceedings. So, um, now I want to become a specialist, an expert in alternative dispute resolution. What are the courses I need to take? First is negotiation and mediation. Negotiation and mediation is very, very important. Very, very important. For you to be a third party that will help us, that will facilitate negotiation among disputing parties, you need to be able to know how to negotiate first. There are principles, there are procedures, there are strategies to negotiation. Yes, many of us, we, can, we are good bargainers, we bargain in the market, this and that. So negotiation goes beyond such bargaining. Such bargaining. You see, you have to take courses in negotiation. You have to take at least a course in negotiation and mediation. Uh, we offer such course as negotiation and mediation. Uh, is a one week course. It's a one week course and it is, uh, uh, paid for. It's paid for. It's not free like this one. Another course you may take, you want to take is family mediation. <coughs> family mediation. We have also transforming communal conflict. This one focuses on how to transform conflict in a community, communal conflict, or conflict between a community and another community, or between a community and a company or government within the community. We have mediating religious conflict. How do we handle religious conflict. Oil and gas dispute resolution, online dispute resolution. Nowadays we do immediate online. People don't need to come physically to where the mediator is. We can meet virtually as we are doing now. Uh, we have emotional intelligence in mediation. We have communication in conflict management. We have facilitating dialogue, convening problem solving workshop. 
Convening Conflict Resolution Workshop. Let's look at what each entails. Like negotiation and mediation, um, negotiation refers to the act of communicating by two parties or group for the purpose of reaching an understanding that is presumably beneficial to both parties. So, like I said, this process has its own principles and procedure which a conflict manager must familiarize uh, themselves with for them to be able to present themselves as an expert in this area. The essence of negotiations is for the parties to work together to solve their problem. Mediation, on the other hand, is a voluntary, non-binding, private dispute resolution process in which a neutral third party helps disputing parties try to reach a negotiated settlement of their own. In other words, two parties, maybe they fail to negotiate or their fair negotiation broke down, they may need a third party to facilitate this process for them. Mediation um, is a non-binding process. But once parties reach a mutually acceptable agreement, they write the agreement, they sign it, the agreement becomes binding. One way of ensuring the agreement to be binding is to take it to court to register it. Sometimes court refers cases to mediation. That's why we have multi-door court house. You see, mediation is becoming popular for party. I mean, alternative dispute resolution generally, but most especially negotiation and mediation, very popular nowadays. That people even include mediation clause in their contract. I've seen contracts. I've drafted. Uh, business contracts that does not have litigation or arbitration at all, that stops at mediation. Yeah, I mean, mediation is a very, very big industry now, all over the world, including Nigeria. There are institutes, these are not two institutes that do mediation training. One is for a week, with 200,000, uh, I mean, for a week. Uh, another one does it for two weeks. Negotiation and mediation is 500,000. Uh, this, our own training is 100,000 for five days, uh, for the online. And, uh, if you see religious leaders that are interested, you may give them, uh, concession. You may give them maybe like 25% off. So instead of paying you know, 100,000, you send 5,000. So, but uh, mediation is a very, very lucrative area now. Very, very lucrative. I have people who only do mediation and they hang in millions of naira, literally millions of naira. They live large, they are rich. They mediate between government and community, community and oil company, rich, uh, I mean, like that. So can make a career out of it. As a as a religious leader, people already respect you. They see you as credible. You want to uh, as it were monetize it. It's not only about money, but also the movement you get, helping people to solve their conflict, resolve their conflict without recourse to court. You heal their relationship. You also solve. You have them to solve. You have them to negotiate. Uh, an agreement that both parties are very happy about. I tell you, a mediator has, I mean, it's fulfilling. Mediating successful, successfully is fulfilling. Okay, these are some of the topics to cover under it. Principles of negotiation, power in negotiation, mediation principles and processes, and so on and so forth. Family mediation. It's another cause. Many of us as religious leaders, what we are involved in is family conflict, family disputes, family disputes. It may be around divorce, husband and wife dispute, child custody, children maintenance, and so on and so forth. Family mediation in the Western world is different from family mediation here in Africa. In the Western world, family mediation is about family, uh, is about me divorce mediation. How do we help parties divorce without hatred, without bitterness? But in Africa, since we value family ties, what we want to do is to help parties not 
to go into divorce. Or if they must divorce, their divorce will be sought such that there is no bitterness. There is no bitterness. Uh, family mediation as a cause with all is a two day course, two day to three day course uh, that focuses on how and why mediation is applied to family issues. Sometimes it's about inheritance. It's about inheritance. So, uh, this is another area. Before you can go into family mediation, you must have done the, I mean, the after the foundation, the next thing is negotiation and mediation. Before you can go anywhere in, I mean, near family mediation. Okay. Okay. Communal conflict. Nigeria has had and is still having its fair share of communal conflict. Conflict over boundaries, conflict over religion, conflict over chieftaincy, conflict over which part of town is start, yeah, uh, conflict over siting of development projects. All these are examples of causes of communal conflict. And when we talk about community, religious leaders are usually seen as members of community. You can learn about transforming communal conflict by taking this course. You'll be able to resolve communal conflict. See, communal conflict is totally different from maybe family dispute or interpersonal conflict. Why? Because I mean the tie that communal community people have over issues over, over which they fight is usually very strong. And because it involves group dynamics. It requires different skill sets than when we are interfering in communal conflict. I mean, interpersonal conflict. So, um, you may be interested in that. That is another. Two day course. Hello, can we hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, I can hear you now. You okay. went away. Yeah. There was power <laughs> and the, uh, my Wi-Fi just went off. So I'm back now. OK, so um, I was saying that uh, communal conflict is much more complex than interpersonal conflict. So uh, we are interested, you know, a religious leader is a community leader. Maybe you have, you live somewhere where they experience community conflict within the community. You want to build your capacity in this area as well. Okay, religious conflict, mediating religious conflict, sometimes, Religious conflict is between members or adherents of the same religion, that is sectarian conflict, or it may be between one religion and another. Religious conflict can be very, very difficult to settle because religion holds promise for the present and for eternity and for future. So people are usually very, very passionate about their religion. However, we can still mediate religious conflict. But is another, I mean, skill set entirely to be able to mediate religious conflict. Is not, it is also a two day, a two day course, mediating religious conflict. Oil and gas dispute resolution. Um, 
There are so many disputes in the oil and gas industry. Oil and gas industry. So the course identifies these common disputes in the industry and covers specific ADR methods, ADR methods that can be applied in resolving such conflicts. And it also shows participants how they can sell their skills, their services in the industry. Online dispute resolution, like I said the other time, we, we can resolve disputes through virtual means. But that means we first of all need to know how to resolve disputes, but we, we need to know um, mediation first. But beyond that, how do you use virtual platform? How do you use things like Zoom? How do you fit in, fit it in into the mediation process? There are certain things we do in mediation, like caucusing, putting people in separate rooms. How do you use the virtual platforms to do that? That is what online dispute resolution teaches. It's a two-day training as well. So you, you, it will equip you with technical skills, technical skills of delivering ADR services online. Emotional intelligence in mediation, you see, anyone who wants to be a successful mediator needs to be emotionally intelligent and they need to know the role of emotional intelligence in the mediation process. Emotional intelligence is a competence that determines how the extent to which uh, a mediator will be successful. Because a mediator will have to deal with different range various range of, of emotions from the parties. How do you respond to them? Sometimes if the mediator is not careful, you may be carried away with the emotion of one party, and the other party will see it as partiality. So, um, how does a mediator develop appropriate intelligence, emotional intelligence, to effectively deal with emotions and empathize as he mediates conflict. Communication in conflict is a very, very important course. Um, a, a, co a mediator must first be a good communicator and must be able to impact this ability on, on parties. Like I said in the last module, uh, parties in conflict, their communication ability has reduced because they are polarized in conflict. So many times they're not able to articulate their needs or listen to the other fellow. Sometimes it requires a third party to let them see, I mean, way forward, to see way forward. So, but you cannot give what you don't have. If you are not a good communicator yourself, you may not be able to help parties communicate. You may not help parties communicate, in fact, I, I, I used to say that communication is necessary for negotiation. Negotiation is necessary for mediation because mediation is facilitated, facilitated negotiation. In other words, you are helping parties to negotiate. That's what mediation is. And now, at the level of communication, of negotiation, for you to effectively negotiate, you must be able to communicate your interest, your needs. You must be able to communicate it effectively. You must be able to uh, listen to the other party communicate theirs. So, communication is the foundation for negotiation. Negotiation is the foundation for mediation. Communication and conflict management is a two-day two course as well. And it's paid for. Um, okay. Um, the conflict manager will do well for himself and his clients by building their capacity through any or a combination of these specialization courses. In other words, um, you may choose, somebody may choose, to, I want to focus on family mediation. Then you know that after taking this. Uh, foundation course, then you need to take a course on negotiation and mediation, and then before you take a course on family mediation. And even while taking, while you take a course on family mediation, you still need to take a course on emotional intelligence in mediation. 
You see, all this will help you to be better. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether we have questions, questions on this last module. Do we have questions? Hello? Wow. I didn't share my slide all through. Hello, can you hear me, please? Hello? Hello, sir. We are with you. Okay. Did I share my slide? Did you see my screen the other time? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Then let me wrap up with this. What practical steps do I need to take to provide conflict management services? Now I'm done with uh, the foundation course. I want to let people know that I can do this, I can do this. How do I go about it? First, let people know about your new competence in conflict management. Let them know that you have taken a course and you have completed it, and these are the new things you learn about it. And number two, you may want to study your materials more. You want to watch those videos again. Maybe there are certain things you missed that you want to, I mean, certain areas you want to improve upon. Um, number three, once you are issued your certificate, you want to display it in your office so that even if you forget to talk about it, people will come in and see it and say, oh, so you have done something on conflict management. Oh, maybe you can help me. Display your certificate proudly. At the end of today, I mean, at the end, when, when you submit your post course, another, I mean, assignment, and you are graded, every one of us that participated will be issued a electronic certificate, digital certificate. If you want hard copy certificate, I will tell you the process at the end of this. Uh, presentation now. So, display your certificate. Let what you have learned show in the way you talk, in your behavior, in your approach to conflict. Use the new terms you have learned. Use the technical jargon, the technical terms, the jargons you have learned. Use it in appropriate context. Let people know that there's something new that you have learned. Now, deploy your skills. Every opportunity you have now, don't do conflict management the way you have been doing it before the training. Now, use the new things you have learned in the training in managing the conflict that will be coming your way as from this evening, as from tomorrow. Do conflict analysis. Formalize your service. Formalize your service. Probably before now, People, they just bring conflicts or they just assign conflicts to you in the organization and you help people resolve it. Maybe now is a time to formalize it. Formalizing it does not necessarily mean asking people to pay now. It's just to document. Maybe you want to have a diary or a register where people register their conflicts, where parties, I mean, Maybe you want to prepare a form, small form for parties to, okay, this is my name, this is my address, my phone number, I'm here for, you know, just to give it a formal look. Yoruba will say that, Boniba, you need Baba to pay guy, no man Baba to pay, should be away. So, it's how you, how you present your service, that people will present it, or take it. So you may want to think of introducing some formal things to make it look more official. Official. Uh, now that you are thinking of becoming is an expert, a certified professional in conflict management. Next, you may want to deploy your newly acquired skills in pro bono services free of charge. 
free of charge. Uh, just like law or lawyers, at the beginning, you may want to be known before you get before you begin to get uh, paid. I know one of my mentors in this field started his career after his training in 2002. Just gave himself to Lagos Multidor Court out, offering free service, free services, free services. He will sit for long hours of mediation, many mediation, without collecting a dime. Until one day, a serving judge or justice of the Supreme Court called him from Abuja, paid his flight ticket to come and help him, help him resolve the conflict between two of his best friends who are fighting over property in Abuja. One, during the time of El Rufa, is it El Rufa? Yes, the governor of Kaduna State, when he was demolishing houses in, in Abuja. He demolished a house that was recently sold by friend A to friend B. The house was supposed to be like 200 million. The friend A said, okay, because of my friend, take it for 150. And a few weeks after I had sold it, they demolished it. Friend B was now saying, you knew that they were going to demolish it before you sold the house to me. This one was saying it's not true. But by and large, I mean, to cut the long story short, they dragged themselves to court. That was when their friend, their friend said, the, the judge he has tried, he, he wasn't able to resolve it. He now called this, uh, this my senior friend. He was young then, he was in his early 40s. He came in, resolved it, and that was how he exploded. Down. He has, he has mediated between Shell and communal, community people, between Chevron and, and community people. The last time he was in Dubai to organize a training on this, there was a time he was, he was involved in mediation training in uh, Medjugorje. The United Nations used the helicopter to pick him. So we are did it. I mean, it's all over. It's all over. How did this start? Pro bono services, free of charge services. But you see, free of charge services where it matters, and an official said, "That's why I said, formalize your service. Let it be official. Let people feel formed so that I me, mean, some of you." After taking the negotiation and mediation course, you may show up at a citizen's mediation center in Ibadan and say, I want to, I mean, your state, wherever you are, and say, I want to offer my free services. I can tell you confidently, many lawyers, or many lawyers in citizen's mediation centers, they are not trained in mediation at all. I have trained, uh, uh, my, my training in mediation is now 20 years. The first time I started training, I mean, I was trained in mediation, 2003, 20 years ago. And I've done a series of training certification within and outside Nigeria in mediation. And I've trained people, a lot of people in mediation. And I have a network of lawyers who work in citizens, citizens mediation center. So what I'm telling you about most of them not being trained in mediation, I know what I'm saying. So if you offer your services there, that is after you have taken negotiation and mediation, mediation course. I mean, you will do well. That is a way of building track record, of gaining experience. Also, like I said earlier, we now have um, multi-door court houses multi court houses. These are mediation centers that are attached to Ministry of Justice, the creation of the Ministry of Justice. Because the, the, uh, the Ministry have realized that some cases are best for alternative dispute resolution. So they will now assign such cases there. Once you present your certificate, such organize, I mean, such uh, courts, multi court houses, they will admit you and they start giving you cases to handle. First, they will first give you cases to co-mediate 
there'll be a major mediator. You will be a co-mediator. There'll be another co-mediator. So as they watch you acquire the uh, experience, they begin to assign you as the main mediator. So finally, like I've been saying, build your capacity for the those specialized courses. So I don't know whether we have comments on on this. Do we have comments or questions on this? How to build your uh, capacity, your careers and specializations in peace, I mean in conflict management. Okay, while we are thinking of our contributions and questions, some people have been coming to ask for art copy of manual uh, and so on. This is what we do. Um, well, they, they're asking for electronic copies, but I told them that we don't give out electronic copies of our manuals. What we do is this. If you're interested, okay, first, Everyone that has participated and that will be part of the group that I spoke of earlier, group of people that will submit their pre-course assignments and post-course assignments, everybody, like, uh, I think you are less than 10, 9 or 10 or less, every one of us were entitled to be given electronic copy of certificates. I've explained that. But some people may say, okay, I want hard copy of certificates. I want hard copy of training manual, uh, and then with the package we also give, uh, we include a copy of my book. That my book is titled um, "Peace for All." Peace for All: Empowering Nigerians with a Culture of Peace is a book that covers all these introductory things in conflict management how we can promote peace in Nigeria, and so on and so forth, you see? Um, it's a book that people really demand anytime I go for physical trainings. So, if you are interested in a hard copy of your certificate, hard copy of Manu, and that's my book, yes, you can You can show interest. We, we give that out at a token of 10,000 Naira, um, um, yeah, 10,000 Naira. I think those are the three things. Yes, add copy certificates, add copy manual, and add copy of my book. So, but everybody will be given, I mean, every successful participant will be given a digital, digital certificate. But people who did not participate to the end, I mean successfully, you cannot, they don't have the uh, opportunity to pay for hard copy anything. No. You can only pay for hard copy, manual, certificate, and so on after you have participated in the course. Thank you very much. That brings us to the end. I don't know whether we have uh, comments or questions. Mr. Diagbo, any comments? After Mr. Diagbo, Madam Miriam Omowumi, then Mr. Ibrahim Fatai, then Madam Oladejo Shakirat, and then Madam Suleya Topeyemi. Maybe I must first thank uh, all of us Please, if you don't mind, let's put on our videos. Let's put on our videos now. Let's put on our videos. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your patience. On our side, you've been very, very demanding. Um, you will notice that I eventually I was the only person that facilitated because the other two facilitators, uh, bringing them uh, will be kind of 
Because like I told people yesterday, in the minimum, before we do online like this, we should have a minimum of 20 people. Although the program is free, but if you are to charge, if you are to charge for it, you will not charge anything less than 45,000. I do two day training for 70,000. Two day training for 60,000. You understand? And their content are not better than this. Many of them, their content are not as much as this. Why are we giving this thing free? Because we find out that religious leaders, religious leaders, they need these things. Many of them have made sincere mistakes, not because they wanted to make the mistake, but because they don't know these basics. And if we say, okay, religious leaders, come and pay. Come and pay 40,000, 50,000. Many people will not, it will discourage many people. It will discourage many people. So we just now felt, okay, let's give it out for free. And then whoever is interested, we pay for this, we pay for that. Uh, so even when they are paying for it, the minimum number is usually 20. Minimum. Even when they are paying for it. But why did we do it? Even when we had five, six, because we saw the commitment of some of us. Sincerely, I have never, I have never done online training since 20, 2020, I've been doing it virtually. I've never done online training with five, six, ten people. Never, never. And those are paid. Those are paid courses. But we appreciate your commitment. And uh, we felt that we shouldn't disappoint. But that was why I could not bring the other two facilitators, you see. So I hope you will pardon me for that. I might have bored you. I might have been too intensive. Please just forgive me for that. So um, do we have questions generally or comments generally? Anyone? Okay, Madam Shakirat, please go ahead. On mute. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you very much for for the post. It has been an eye opener and a very very effective and informative. Uh, many of these things we've been doing in the past, we've realized some of the things I've made and some things that we're doing with ground knowledge, just doing it uh, as a layman like that. At least with this, I've given us a basis to be more professional about some of the things we do concerning uh, dispute uh, resolution, conflict management, and that. So, and I, uh, I pray that God Almighty continues to do it to you and make you progress. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, Madam Shakras. Mr. Ibrahim, any question? Okay, I think I see Madam Omoumi. Okay, mm. please go ahead, ma'am. Sir, oh, well, there is Hello. no comment or question. Okay. I don't have a com question, but I want okay. to appreciate. Hello? Oh, okay, I can hear you. I want to appreciate. I want to appreciate your endeavor, you, your time, Thank you. because it has it's not really in this Nigerian system now for someone to just say free online course for you to have taken out of your time. I pray the good Lord should bless you, Amen. grant you your your. The, your heart desires Amen. Amen. and we God should, should, should make us a good ambassador of your of your experience Amen. that you impacted on us. Amen. Allow me. Thank you very much for that, Ma. Those prayers and your kind words. 
Okay, any other Mr. Ibrahim, any comment or question and Madam Suliat? Okay, Mr. Ibrahim. Uh, I just want to use this uh, medium to appreciate your time and uh, effort in coming up with this uh, program. Thank you, sir. It has been a wonderful experience. Thank you very much. Because for somebody like me, at least I now have a, a wider horizon about how to go about uh, setting the dispute and as well as the conflict uh, resolution. Because we live in a changing and a, a dynamic uh, society. And with the changes in society, then it comes up, uh, with uh, different uh, challenges. And if there are no people that are maybe trained to face these uh, challenges, then the society becomes uh, another thing. I have to rely for having people like you because I never imagined that within the period that uh, we are spent, that I'll be able to get as much knowledge as uh, I've uh, gotten. So I pray okay. Almighty, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, you continue Amen. to enrich your knowledge Amen. and uh, uh, provide for you all your requests. Amen. Then grant you all your heart's desire. Amen. Because it is not common in this part of the world for people to share this kind of uh, knowledge mm. without charging a couple mm. with others. So you are, you are a wonderful personality. <laughs> and pray you, to have many people, more people like you in our society. We, so to, to live sufficiently and uh, rich with the experiences. And I look on to maybe uh, how I'm going to pass this. Uh, you are muted now. <laughs> I think, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Ibrahim. I think there's network issue over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I got the last thing you said. Uh, you look forward to using that, impacting this knowledge on other people. And that would, that, that would be great. Using it in the line of uh, work or your leadership. Okay. Um, Madam... Sliat, do you have any comment or question? Okay, Samu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, you are breaking. Hey. Okay, I think. There is internet issue with uh, Madam Suliat. Okay, um, we hope that she will come back, but in the meantime, it will be so, so, so I really appreciate it. Your mighty Allah bless you in divorce and perfect all that concerns your affairs as well. In addition, please, it seems I've been missing out with all these um, virtual classes. Can we have a question? As though you rightly explained earlier that we can subscribe to that. Um, adding to the knowledge we've, um, we've done that so far. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, you, you know, all these videos will be uploaded on our YouTube channel. So, Madam Suliat, the other ones you have missed, I've seen you have been one of the most consistent people, sincerely. So, you can go online 
and watch from our YouTube channel. Are you aware that we have, we have posted, we have uploaded some of the videos of the previous classes on our YouTube channel? Exactly, I saw that on the group, sir. Oh, great. So the ones for today, immediately we finish, uh, before the end of today, uh, they will have been uploaded. Yesterday, yesterday classes have already been uploaded. So just go there. Is that okay? It's no problem, sir. Thank okay. you very much. I really appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm so okay. Uh, I think we have come to the end uh, of the course. The remaining part is for the group activities. We will check our um, register. I mean, the screenshots you have taken and the video uh, recordings for us to know the nine or 10 people who have been regular. You understand? Then on the basis of that, we will group us. That should be done between tomorrow and next, and between Monday and Tuesday. And then once we group us, we will create WhatsApp platform for each group. We will be observers, and then we want you to do your group activities. Between now and tomorrow, you can go over that uh, document, uh, MLCM uh, course activities. That is where the assignments are listed and the procedure for doing the assignment. On your own, you can start answering some of the things before you now come to the group uh, to do it together. Uh, finally, we want to appreciate you sincerely for taking the time out in spite of the bad network, the challenges of the network, uh, in spite of the election election fever, you still created the time to use your data to spare your time to attend. We, on our end, we are also saying we are very grateful to that. I mean, to you for that. Um, we will give you a week thereabout from Tuesday to do your assignment and submit. And then afterwards, we will do the grading and by the by another week your certificates will be sent to you via uh, email and uh, shortly afterwards we include your names on our website as our past participants that have taken the, the course but if you choose you may choose to say oh, i don't want my name there i mean we are okay but we just want to do so that anybody you tell that have done this, you can go and quickly, I mean, confirm that is actually done. So on this note, we want to say a very, very big thanks to you. And we say that uh, we look forward to you deploying these newly acquired skills as leaders in your groups. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Yes, ma'am and sir. Bye, everyone. Oh, bye. Bye. Thank you. We appreciate you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you